Hello, Scratchers. Have you been bored of playing Scratch RPG alone? Today, I'm going to remix this project into an MMORPG. You can share it and play with your friend. We will continue to remix the project in episode 1 and use the simple MMO extension in Gandhi IDE. Join our Discord server. You will get the original project in my channel. The link is in the description. And now, here we go. First, let's open the project. I have published it on CoCorea. Click Remix. Now, we are ready to code. Let's install the simple MMO extension. Click the Extensions button. You will find it. Here is a dock. Click Install. There are a lot of blocks in this extension. We only need a few of them in this project. Now, let's talk about how to make an MMO game. Simple MMO 101. Entering an online game, a player needs to select a server to join in and begin to upload the data of a character. At the same time, other players' characters should be synced and displayed. With a simple MMO extension, you can develop a very simplified MMO system in three parts. First, connect to a server. We can call it an online room. Second, upload the data of your character. Third, sync the data of other characters and display. In this project, all characters could move around on the map. It's all about position and costume. Everything could be done in Sprite Player. Let's start with the first part. Connect to an online room. Use this block. You could define a server ID. Let's use RGR2. That means Remix Griffpatch's RPG Episode 2. The first drop-down box is how a player joins the room. If you select Join or Create, it will find a room with a server ID and join it. When the room is not found, it will create a new one. If you select Create, a new room will be created directly. We select Join or Create. The second one, there are three room tabs. In this project, we only need to use the most basic one, the Broadcast Room. You could check the difference between these three tabs in the doc. The last input is extra data. We will explain it later. It could be blank in this block. Now we can run it to join an online room. But how to check the result? Use this block. When join an online room, the player will get a unique ID. We call it session ID. When the player doesn't connect to an online room, the value of this block is not a number. Then run this block. We have a session ID now. That means the player has connected. We can put this block under when the green flag clicked. Next, let's upload the data of your character. The data will be used to paint the characters on other stages. In this project, we need to upload the character's position and the custom number. Use the set block in this extension. In the drop-down box, we can use X and Y. But where is the custom number? In this situation, we need to use extra data. It could be any data you want to upload. When the player connects to an online room, an initial extra data could be set in the connection block. There is another set block. You can use it to upload the X and Y position of the character. We could upload data when the character is painted. 
x position should be set to the value of player x. y position should be set to the value of player y plus 10. Then, set extra data to the custom number. Now, the data will be uploaded each time the character is painted. The last part is the most complex one. We need to sync the data of all characters and display them on the stage. We can use clones to display other characters. But all clones are the same. How to distinguish them? In the simple MMO extension, we can use this block to create clones with session ID so that we can identify clones. Use this block to get the session ID. The index starts from 0. When a player connects to a room, our characters should be displayed. Use this event. Make a variable, name is player index. Set it to 0. Then repeat the count of online players. Each time, create a clone with session ID. Then change player index by 1. Now we are going to sync the data of all characters and make all clones display characterly. This script sets the character's position and costume. Let's update it. The original sprite is controlled by the player, and all clones are controlled by others. We need to identify clones. Use an if-then-else block and use the blink block as a condition. If it is a clone, we need to set X and Y positions and the custom. Use this block to get data. In this project, the x and y position should be calculated by minus com x and com y. Finished. Then we need to upload this script. Because of the same reason, only the original sprite runs this part. Use an if-then block, and the condition is not a clone. Now, we need to run and check the result. But how can I test an MMO game by myself? Don't worry, here is a block to solve this problem. Run this block, the online room will accept multi-ID for one user. Then, open another editor window. Now, I can test my project. Right. Yes, we can see characters in the room. Wait, is there someone just behind me? That is because a clone of the character controlled by me was created. And then it will sync the moment of myself. So it looks like a ghost behind me. We can modify the condition. Only when the session ID is not my session ID, create a clone. Try it again. Hmm, it works. Next problem, only the last player connected to the room could see all the other characters. That is because clones were only created once when the player connected to the room. We should add a new event. 
when a new player connects, create a clone. Use this block. Only the original sprite could create clones. And I need to identify the new player is not myself. One step further, when a player is disconnected, the clone should be deleted. Use this block. If the session ID of a clone is the same as the player who leaves, then delete this clone. Try it again. Great, we have finished this part. Now, we have an MMORPG. You could share your project in our Discord server to find someone to play with you. Next time, we will add the name of player, and I will show you how to use the terminal to debug. Don't forget to join our Discord server. See you later!